Well, happy Thursday, my friends. It's Frank White on this uh, March the 10th. It's TGIT. Thank God it's Thursday. Why? You may think I'm crazy, but we just have another day to shine for him. Today is a, a great day, isn't it? How are you doing today? What are you going through today? And there's a scripture that's been on my heart today. I'm making this a little bit later than normal. But in Philippians uh, 4, 6, and 7, let's read verse 6 first. Uh, Philippians 4, 6, it says, um, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. Let your requests be made known unto God. And we're supposed to do that with thanksgiving. Amen. And if you look at the word careful, it... Um, it really means to be anxious. Now, what happens if we get anxious? We get overwhelmed. We get in a hurry. And really, we're not really focusing on the fact that God has everything under control. And in due season, we're going to reap if we faint not. Because it says in Galatians, Be not weary in well-doing, where you shall reap if you faint not. So sometimes it takes God a while to work things out and uh, he wants you and I just to just stand upon the greatness of his word and just be consistent in our confession, be consistent in our faith and what we know that our Heavenly Father can do for us. In the scriptures, Jesus even spoke in the Gospels that if you then be an evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give good things to them that ask them? And so it's about a relationship. When you look at God, you should look at God as a God full of love and compassion and mercy and just, just forgiveness and a Father that we can have an intimate relationship, communicate to Him about anything that's upon our heart today and he cares about what's upon your heart today you know you may be feeling overwhelmed as i said earlier and you may just feel you don't know how you're going to do it and you also may be second guessing the decision that you've recently made but i'm here today to tell you that even if you did make a bad mistake or a bad decision that God is able to bring you out of it. So I just encourage you today, my friends. In Philippians 4, 7, it says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. So the peace of God, which passes all understanding, is a supernatural peace that can only happen when we're not anxious and we're so full of care as some are today. First Peter 5, 7, it says, Casting all your care to him, for he careth for you. In Philippians 4, 19, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory. Can I pray with you today? I want you to know again and how much God loves you today. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your power. We don't have to pray long prayers. God, you know every need of every person listening to this podcast today. God, I ask you to supernaturally meet their need according to your word. We know your word is your will. I thank you for taking care of finances, emotional, physical, even things in the natural that seem impossible. We can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us, and the greater one lives inside of us today. Father, I love you, and I thank you ahead of time for what you've done, and most of all, for what you're going to do in the days to come. In Jesus' name. Well, my friend, if you'd like somebody to pray with you, you can call us at 937-966-0015. 937-966-0015. Have an amazing Wednesday evening. Actually, Thursday evening. And we'll talk to you tomorrow because tomorrow is TGIF. I love you. Bye-bye.